air transits the nose or mouth through the pharynx, larynx, trachea and bronchus to the alveoli, where gas exchange takes place. Oxygen and nitrogen from the air that you breathe pass into the small blood vessels called capillaries, which surround the alveoli. Carbon dioxide produced by the body's energy consumption passes from the pulmonary artery to the capillaries and into the alveoli to be exhaled from the lungs. Inadequate gas exchange leads to respiratory complications. Conditions affecting gas exchange include atelectasis, bronchitis, emphysema, COPD, ARDS and heart failure. Atelectasis is the deflation or total collapse of the alveoli caused by retained secretions or mucus or lung disorders such as bronchitis and emphysema. Bronchitis causes the lining of the bronchioles to swell, thicken and produce mucus as a protective response. Chronic bronchitis often progresses to respiratory distress requiring acute treatment. Emphysema causes inflammation of the alveoli, destroying active membrane and decreasing the surface area available for gas exchange. Chronic bronchitis and emphysema are two causes of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. A failing left coronary ventricle increases blood pressure in the blood vessels between your lungs and left ventricle. This increased pressure forces non-plasma fluids out from the blood and into the lung tissues. This can lead to pulmonary edema and is a trigger for onset of respiratory distress. Adult respiratory distress syndrome occurs when inflammation forces fluid out of capillaries and into the alveoli. This compromises gas exchange and increases work of breathing. ARDS can be triggered by problems in the lungs such as chest infection or chronic pulmonary disease. Arterial blood gas analysis is essential in order to choose the correct respiratory therapy. Type 1 respiratory failure is defined as low blood oxygen concentration with normal CO2 tension. This indicates that the patient requires oxygen delivery to return the patient's oxygen tension to within normal limits. Type 2 respiratory failure is classified as low oxygen concentration with high CO2 tension. This indicates that the patient requires ventilatory pressure support to aid CO2 clearance and return the patient's CO2 tensions to within normal limits.